Hi class, Steve Katie here. We are looking at the personal method, the paper submission portion. Grades have been posted, the rubrics filled out, and uh, we will focus the weekend on helping you get additional feedback along with your peer reviews and the iterative processes we've set up. I'm also available for one-on-one -on -one deep dives into. I've had lots of meetings with people individually, working with them on their models or methods, the visuals, uh, those kinds of things. So we'll continue that process. It's a very um, iterative, rich, and organic learning experience or learning environment to, as you uh, improve upon your uh, paper. I, as we talked about, it's the scaffolding approach and uh, very important at this level and stage that you are at in your work profession and, and in this master's program. So uh, what I'm gonna do is highlight five people or share five uh, best practices and walk through some different aspects, highlighting some key things. When looking at the grade, it really focused on this simply, I, was, I graded pretty liberally. This is a 5% uh, um, assignment. Uh, however, the more you do, the better you do, the more thoroughly you follow through on it, the better it sets you up for the final follow through swing uh, with the final paper and presentation recording. So right now we're looking at the papers and um, the criteria and then the way I applied it was I looked at complete professional and thoughtful and complete what I looked for is were all the sections addressed <clears throat> like we discussed. I wanted a, a paragraph, bullets, and a visual. And those three things, and particularly in the center uh, sections, we talked about this uh, in class, in a video, and in two online sessions, I went through exactly what needed to be in the uh, um, this submission. I pulled back the requirements that it wasn't a full, it didn't have to have everything fully written out. The key was having a good paragraph that describes each of the sections with those bullets and that visual as appropriate. And so that was complete. Did you have that? Professionals, was it laid out? Did you follow the header, subheaders? Was the writing and things laid out in a, in a professional way? And then thoughtful really got at that, those paragraphs and explaining and giving a start for each of the sections in a full swing. Could I read them and understand that you were kind of on, you were not kind of, that you were on track with each of your sections in terms of uh, flushing them out with that paragraph and, and bulleted points that you want to make. That's how I apply complete professional and thoughtful. So let's jump in and look at our, our best practices. Uh, we have uh, Carrie is one. We have uh, Matt as another, we have Aaron another, we have Gabriel another, and Violetta. And so um, when I go through, I'm just going to highlight some different things. Um, one is just following the format, and it's easy to read. You open up, there we go. We got it. We got the chapter, we got the title, we got the epigraph, we got the author's name, and uh, we got page number and a footer that's appropriate at the bottom so we know where we are. Basic, straightforward, I scroll through, and I my first pass is I'm just kind of looking to see that you have all the main headers and uh, the sections set up. And and then this next thing, you know, as I go through, I just kind of go through the whole thing just to make sure um, that's done. And Carrie went all the way down to having her one-page summary done, which I appreciated. Not, not uh, required. Um, uh, for the one-page summaries, though. but Carrie, I think it's great that you did that. And then um, the next thing, you know, is I, I the story. I think it's great getting started out of the story. I like I like how this is set up. Gets into the basics, and you got the instructive visuals. So now you start getting into the Venn diagrams or the flow charts and and how they're laid out. You know, and you look at this one here. What do I see? I see that the fonts are all consistent. That this there's white space and that it's not crowded and that it looks it looks professional and organized and it's a flow it gets it gets at this you know this notion of these four steps that flow with each other you know you have you know some type you know I would call this a a complementary not an ornate uh, um, visual a complementary one that kind of supports that you got your table of uses and what you can see is that there's sections that there's content written there's bullets. And that there's um, there's 
there's everything set up for the next iteration of writing. So I think that was that was good. And uh, let's see here. Then we go into uh, let's look at the next one here. So we go into Matt's and. Uh, you know, Matt's a big Pearl Jam fan, so I think it's appropriate to have that on the front there. And then you come in and you got your, you know, you, your story, the basics. You get into the, the, the visuals and the process and, um, uh, you know, even building on the metaphor there. And then um, as you go, you, you see that there's some stuff here. Now, Matt, what I would say is you don't have to do all of this uh, fancy layout stuff like you're doing here, so to speak. Uh, you don't have to do all of that. You can keep it um, pretty straightforward just to help. That's a, that's a personal choice. The other thing is I'd recommend is keeping white space. You want to have about, you know, three quarters of an inch on each side. Um, and that's a kind of a, a challenger. But otherwise, I think, you know, these are little things. Um, so you can see that the tables are being used. There's figures being used in there. You know, start uh, one on all. And then you got three aspects that kind of that really relate to that around the initial agreements. And then you can see, again, tables, you can see visuals being created throughout that are, are, are making some key points. These are instructive visuals. And you can see some content and you can see um, you know, everything is being addressed that's been asked for. Um, you can go to the next one, Aaron's. And you know, it starts out. You know, it's following and using the, the word document template, the chapter, Aaron's type name, the title, and you can you could even delete you know this portion off and just have it be the title. You got your epigraph, and then you got uh, the story flowing into you know a a guiding image, community bridge. It's got complementary and instructive elements to it. And as you go through, you can see that things are being addressed from the inside each of the sections. Aaron went as far as started addressing, answering those sub questions and being clear about that and using visuals as appropriate through. And I, I think it's, uh, you know, um, you can see and you don't have to fit them in like you, you did here. Um, you can have them just kind of laid throughout. And as you can see, I mean, uh, very, very much uh, very good thought given to the table of uses here um, and your know, roles and responsibilities conditions for success um, sustaining results burning question references and bookshelf so that's that's good and then we'll get into Gabriel's here and uh, you know again laying it out here at the beginning going down through content visuals um, and uh, what I'm looking for also here is I was looking for some bullets to kind of say what you're following through but there's a lot of additional content given more content than some cases than was than I um, required and uh, the, the visuals are there so it's it's looking really good uh, coming through the table a lot of thoughts given to the table again additional content beyond the one paragraph in, in many cases and uh, goes all the way through here and then one page summary thanks for doing that and um, you didn't have to but that's it's it's nice that you have that there I had mentioned on a couple occasions you don't need to do the one page summary um, and then we get to violets and V's work here it has got her story laid out as it goes through and uh, in some cases more content you know I had said a paragraph and some bullets but I think in some cases was given like a lot of thought was given to the tables and um, as you can see it's it's uh, it's a good start and the instructive visuals you know you kind of have different ways of, of wrestling with them and and laying them out so um, yeah so very good uh, work so every, it's a good start there's a you know as, as, I, as I would offer is a good bit of work still to do and, and as you wrap up if we go into the the um, as we go into the residency we're going to really focus a lot on the method your personal method giving you time to work on it think it through and then as you leave the weekend to have some time to really work on flushing all of this out and 
and getting it into good shape so that you could give it to a person that you are um, being hired by or selected by or some you give it to somebody that you want to hire you to say we want you on our team that's the intention you want to be that confident and proud of the work that you've prepared so see you during the residency and bye for now and uh, good work everybody